great to be here today uh, to release numbats. It's a really important project to create the largest feral cat-free area on mainland Australia. You know, a huge achievement. Bilbies have been returned, stick nest rats returned, and today, numbats. Numbats are special for so many reasons. First, they are super cute, as we've just seen. They ran, ran away from us like meerkats with their tails in the air. <laughs> Secondly, they're, they are an important part of the environment. They eat, I don't know how many, how much of their body weight in, in termites every night. So it'd be great to have around your backyard and you know, stop the termites eating your house. The numbat is really just hanging on. There's probably about 800 to 1,000 numbats left in the wild. Numbats are mostly limited to uh, two wild sites in far western Australia. Previously, they used to span right across the country, and they're basically contracted to that range due to a variety of factors, mainly predation by foxes and feral cats, and change in land use and fire regimes and habitat loss. So they're really quite unique. There's something that there's, there's no other similar animals out there. Here at Mallee Cliffs, we've established a 9,500 hectare feral predator-free area uh, using conservation fencing. Within that area, we've eradicated all of the feral predators and we've created a safe haven for the species. By bringing them back here, putting them in these fenced areas, we know that they do very well once they're protected from foxes and cats. We expect maybe 300 or 500 or 700. We will have to count them in the future and find out how many, but it, it will increase the global population of numbats by a quarter to a half. That by itself is a fantastic project. They're part of the ecology. Like so many Australian mammals, they were, which have been lost from most of our, most of our landscape. And, and the, the numbats were one of, I think, 20 species that they got, of which now there's only five left. One of the really special things about the project here at Mallee Cliffs National Park is that it's a multi-species reintroduction project. The numbat is one of 10 regionally extinct mammals here. And the fundamental idea behind the project is to restore the ecosystem function of those animals. So we've got small digging mammals like bilbies and betongs that dig burrows. They'll provide shelter for the other animals like numbats. Uh, eventually we will introduce a top order predator in the western quoll that would have been in this region uh, before cats and foxes resulted in the loss of all of these animals. And really the exciting thing about this project is restoring all of those trophic relationships, you know, the web of life and the interactions between all of those animals. And it's a fascinating and pioneering project and it's really on the cutting edge of conservation ecology in, in the country. Fantastic to see them released here today, but it's the first of many, many steps in a long journey. They can live out their lives here, breed up, have a large population, contribute to the survival of the species and help restore the nature of Mallee Cliffs back to the ecosystem that it would have been when it was cared for by the traditional owners. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.